Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk a little bit about air quality and 3D printing. What kind of got me on this journey, actually a couple years ago, is uh, some work that the internet buddy of mine did, RJ Make, on HEPA filters and ABS plastic. I'll put a link to that below. I think it's a good video and worth watching. And that video has stuck with me for a couple years now, because when I started this whole 3D printing thing about three years ago, there really wasn't a lot of research on air quality and 3D printing. Now, Flat, uh, fast forward, I was going to say flash forward, fast forward three years, there is quite a bit of a, a work out there. Now, one thing is remember, your home is not a factory, and so your air envelope in your home is going to be far different than that of an industrial setting. And 3D printers are basically industrial devices you're bringing into your home. So you need to be a little bit careful. Now, if you're using a mounted price mini in your living room with some PLA, eh, it's probably not that big of a thing. But again, my opinion. Uh, However, if you're using ABS, you're doing real long prints in ABS, uh, you have multiple ABS printers going, you need to be careful. So I'm not going to get into all the health dynamics of ABS. I'll put links below. You can read it. You can decide for yourself. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I did to deal with it and uh, you know to make a safer what I feel at least a safer situation for uh, my family and my home setting so I, I do print in ABS I don't print a lot in ABS when I do it's in a sealed printer I use my DaVinci's they're reflashed to print the ABS so they're sealed containers now for about two years I've simply uh, used this ventilator and I'll talk about this in a minute and stuck a hose in the side popped the panel out and, and you know just drew the air from from inside there out uh, you know one of the things over the holidays I've cleaned this up I've taken this blank from Thingiverse remixed it a little bit put a funnel on here so I can connect it to my um, ventilation system and that's what I want to talk a little bit about I'll put some overlays uh, up in the corner too so what I've done is you know almost two years ago I put in a ventilation system in my shop it's I used one and a half inch PVC because again you, you know you're not wanting to move huge amounts of air you're just wanting to move steady amounts of air to keep fresh air and keep you know move the uh, fumes from the inside out and I've, at least for me, found, it, you know, uh, the inch and a half system is affordable, it's effective uh, as far as installation size-wise, and so that's why I'm kind of sharing it with you. Now, I use uh, inch and a half gate valves, too. They're about 12 bucks. You can get them on eBay sometimes for around 8 to control the system, so I don't keep it all on. Because one of the things I use to keep the noise down is I built this system over here. I had this left over from a home improvement project. But what this is, is a six inch um, vent fan for your furnace. So you put it in a six inch duct and it's a booster. And so again, it doesn't move a lot of air, but it moves steady air. Now I do have this, as you can tell, um, sort of funneled down or, you know, bottleneck down from six inches to an inch and a half. So again, doesn't, you know, it's not like turning on a huge fan, but it does create positive ventilation from inside the house to the outside. So it does do that. Now this is 110 volt. This is main power and this is exposed AC. Now, um, I, you know, I, this is a little bit of personal opinion and, you know, others may have some conjecture and you may be right. You may not be, but, um, Again, the printers producing VOCs are volatile organic compounds, which can be flammable. And this does have an exposed AC motor. So one could say, eh, that's probably not the, the, the best choice. But, you know, I've used this now for a couple years successfully. The VOCs in the amount that, you know, one or two printers is creating, uh, I don't feel or I have not been exposed to is, is a fire hazard there. Uh, I would, you know, if you really want to get technical, you should probably use a closed DC uh, fan unit, something like that. Um, so again, I'm a little bit hesitant sharing this with you, but I'm going to share what I did. I don't overly recommend it because it is an open AC fan, but it has worked for me. Now, I do not... Um uh, I, I do not run any of my printers unattended from the fact of when I'm not home. So I will run prints overnight, uh, but only when I'm home. And I also have uh, uh, Wi-Fi fire alarms installed in my shop near all the key printing stations. So if that, that fire alarm goes off in my shop, which is in the basement, and I have a three-story house... Um, it, it, it sets off all the fire alarms, so I know if there is a problem. So safety, 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 and I highly recommend it. I'll also put the links to those fire alarms below. You can get them off of Amazon. 
highly recommend it. I also have a central fire alarm system too in the house, but I also have that for my shop area just to be doubly sure. Um, now, what I've also done uh, is I've remixed this side panel just to kind of show you guys for the DaVinci. And again, I'll put some overlays up there. So it pops in the side. You can take the inch and a half, plug it in here, and connect it up to my vent system. You know, something like this, if I get my fingers out of the way. And uh, actually, it works pretty good. Uh, there's a number of different ways you can do it. And again, even with the PLA, what I do is I simply use a drop-down tube uh, over top of the printer, sort of like a little bit of a fume hood to draw the, the air up. And again, I'm far less worried about PLA than I am ABS or other uh, petroleum-based uh, plastic products, right? So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting and, you know, I gave you something to think about. And I, again, I highly recommend taking a look at RJ Makes HEPA video filter uh, project because w with that, he's doing it, uh, as I recall, you know, basically inside and using a HEPA filter to, you know, filter out, you know, some of the ABS stuff. But I highly recommend actually going to the outside and that's what I've done in my case. And again, with the inch and a half system, it's worked very well for me to evacuate the fumes. So anyways i'm interested here what do you do for fume evacuation now keep in mind you know i got a lot of 3d printers and so this is more of an industrial setting and this is why i put it up there but even if i'm running one printer for 12 14 hour prints with abs i'm getting concerned um because abs has a lot of stuff in it and, and actually outgasses and maybe that's not the right technical worm and people beat me up at a very low temperature um so anyways, just before one, and, and I'll put again the links below so you decide. And uh, I'll be doing another video because even for the PLA, I've got another internal solution uh, that was actually, uh, I, I kind of stole it from the RJ Make idea, but it's more industrialized and uh, maybe you'll find that interesting if you got a shop. So look for that video coming pretty soon. And hey, let me know in the comments below what you think and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.